Christ of Disciples of Christ Full Gospel Church. And our address is 5111 South Ashland Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60609. And our telephone number is area code 773-927-0392. I would like for you to listen to a song from one of our CDs. And after we'll be right back. Praise God, Evangelist Early Harper, the Disciples of Christ, Full Gospel Church Choir, in our sanctuary.
This is a message that was preached March the 20th, 2005 at Disciples of Christ Full Gospel Church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Just to see. Praise God. We're going to pray. Amen. Thank God for prayer. Amen. What does prayer do? Change, Change things. things. <laughs> thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Father in heaven, we thank you. Yes. Glory and honor. We thank you for this day. Yes. We remember what you have done, who you are, what you're doing, and what you're going to do. Yes. Bless us to glorify you the rest of this day in Jesus' name. We bind the devil in every hand. Father, we love you. Hey, we love you. Yes, Father, as we prepare ourselves for this word, help us to speak only what you want spoken and say what you want said and done. No more, no less. In Jesus' name, we bind the devil. We rebuke death. We thank God for power and love and a sound mind in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. God is good. Yes, All, the All the time. All the time. All the time. Right now. Even right now. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Now, would you turn in the book of Exodus? Just going to read it. Praise God. A couple of verses in here because then. Be a lot of going. Okay, Exodus chapter number 12. And we're going to read verses 3 and 6 right now. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to ask you to read that with us. Praise the Lord once you get it together here. Exodus chapter 12, verse number 3. Wait, 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 praise the Lord, just one quick minute, okay, I believe we, we on cue, <laughs> okay, now let's go together, speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, in the tenth day of this month, shall, shall take the land, amen, Mm -hmm. According to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. Okay, the sixth verse. And, and ye shall keep it up until, until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Praise God. Thank God for the reading of his word. It seemed like I was a slow one. <laughs> Good to have your seat. Praise God. Yes. The subject today, Jesus fulfills scripture. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I like challenges Hallelujah. when you're talking about the word of God. Praise the Lord. We thank God. We've given God the glory and the honor. We thank God for uh, Ella Bennett, Ella Jackson. Praise yes. God. Their wives. Um, Mother and Reverend Stewart, my wife, all of the saints. Praise God. Amen. It's good to see Brother Craig and Sister Cynthia being yes, with us and the Gibson family. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. And all of you, praise God. Amen. Just good to be saved. Yes, it is. Praise God. Jesus fulfills scripture. Yes. And this is what we as born again believers have the blessed assurance of knowing, yes. not guessing, Amen. but knowing that he fulfilled what the Old Testament prophets prophesied about the Messiah. Amen. Praise God. The Savior of the world. Praise God. And I tell you, he's good. Praise the Lord. But looking at what we just got through reading, I'm going to go back. Praise the Lord. And I will read it. And we're going to go all the way through the 18th verses. God is speaking to Moses and unto Aaron. And I might not do much of anything. I might not move from this spot today. Maybe. 
But in case I do, I got markers to help me move. <laughs> Pray the Lord. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day, notice I got that underlined, tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. Praise God. And this tenth day is the tenth day of the Jewish month of Abib or Nisan. Praise God. Which is equivalent to our praise the Lord, March, April running over. That's why we got Praise God, the resurrection and the Jewish Passover, sometimes it'll be in March like it is this year. Amen. Praise God. And other <laughs> years it'll be like last year, it was on a, praise the Lord, in a, the month of April. Amen. No, don't bother that one, y'all. <laughs> praise God. <laughs> Amen. I'll be watching everything. Praise God. Amen. The best with the Lord are doing, and I have to go back and put it all over again. Oh, Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay. The, the, that month is called Abib, and it's also called Nissan. Amen. And I was going to be called March or April. Yeah. Praise God. But it's so important. If you look at the fourth verse of that, and if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house, take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall uh, make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish. Very important. A male of the first year, you shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And ye shall keep it until the fourteenth day. That was another day that should be on the line. Fourteenth yeah. day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Praise God. This is just about the time when they were to be delivered from uh, Egyptian bondage or slavery. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper doorpost of the houses wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in that night roast with fire and, un and unleavened bread and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat it, eat not of it raw nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire his head with his legs and with the pertinence thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, getting ready to get out of here, yeah. pray the Lord, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. That means in a hurry. Praise the Lord. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods, and these are little demons really, but they got idols. Yes. All the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be for be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, yes. I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Yes. Pass over, pass over you. <laughs> and this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and you shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generation. You shall keep it a feast by an, by an ordinance forever. Seven days. My Lord, shall ye eat unleavened bread? Even the first day, ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. Amen. 
And in the first day there shall be a holy convocation. That should be underlined. And the seventh day there shall be a holy convocation to you. No manner of work shall be done in them. That should be underlined. Save that which every man must eat, that only may be done of you. Ye shall, and ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread for in the self same day have I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt therefore shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever last verse in the first month on the 14th day of the month at evening you shall eat unleavened bread until the 20th until the one and twentieth day of the month. Fourteenth day until the twenty-first day. Amen. Praise God. All right. Now, turn to the book of Leviticus. You know, you got Genesis, Exodus, and Leviticus, the next book. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Chapter number 23. All right. I'm going to do a lot of reading today. Thank God. Amen. Somebody say thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Leviticus 23, we're going to read verses 4 through 7. Praise God. It says, These are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in your seasons. In the fourteenth day, there it is again, of the first month at even is the Lord's Passover. But underline this next verse. And on the fifteenth day of the same month is the feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. Seven days ye must eat unleavened bread. In the first day you shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. Okay. Underline that servile work. No servile work. Amen. Which indicates Sabbath. Pray the Lord. Amen. Holy convocation indicates lawful assembly. Yes. Pray the Lord. This is, I'm, I'm, I don't know whether you're enjoying what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm, I've been doing something. I've been causing some some disturbance on the radio. <laughs> Praise God. I, I enjoy it. Thank God. It's a good challenge. I was called out of my name. Praise God. I don't I don't mind being called black. Amen. But I was referred to as a black nigger. <laughs> huh? Yes. I was called a liar. Yes. Somebody that says that we are gods out in Grand Junction, Colorado. John is the name. Praise the Lord. I got a letter. I got John's address on there and all that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, I don't look down on John. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we need to go through some, some difficult times and we'll appreciate who we are. If I know who I am, praise God, it don't make no difference who, what other people think I am. Amen. Huh? When you know who you are. That's right. Praise God. That's how we're able to turn the other cheek. Amen. It used to be that used to offend a lot of us until we find out, man, ain't nothing wrong with being black. I love being black. Amen. I wouldn't have it no other way. <laughs> Praise God. Why? Because God made me this way. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Don't need to have hanging your heads down. Amen. Praise the Lord. Say thank you, Jesus, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> 12th chapter of John. All right. Praise God. Somebody say the 12th chapter of John. The 12th chapter of John. And we're going to look at the first verse, first of all. <clears throat> then Jesus, six days before the Passover. Did you hear that? Amen. Six days before the Passover came to Bethany where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. All right. But underline six days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Glory. Thank God I'm enjoying this. Marcus, I'm enjoying this. Praise the Lord. Go down to verse number 12. And on the next day, much people that were come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. On the line next day. CDs are all the book and the uh, CDs, the three CDs, uh, for a gift of $10 or more. This covers shipping and handling. This helps us with the telecast, praise God, now radio broadcast can be yours. Anything that is above uh, the market value price of $10 is tax deductible. Praise God. So if you want it, you contact us at Disciples of Christ Full Gospel Church, 5111 South Ashland Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60609. Our telephone number is area code 773-927-0392. There's a voicemail on that number, but if you want to talk to me, it's area code 773-224-5131. Now, anyone that wanted to correspond with those, you can write us at Disciples of Christ Full Gospel Church, 5111 South Ashland Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60609. Now, if there's someone out there that if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, why don't you invite Jesus to come into your life? Tell him that you believe that he's God's son, that he died on the cross, and that he was buried, and God raised him up from the dead. Tell him that you're a sinner, you've sinned against heaven and against him, and you're sorry. Come into your heart. Be your Lord and your Savior. You're going to worship and serve him the rest of your life. Tell him to fill you with his spirit, and he will do it. If you believe it, get your Bible and read it every day, pray every day, go to the house of the Lord each time the doors open for worship service, and they practice what they preach. And if you're incarcerated, then you go to the chapel services. The chaplain will be delighted to have you. And if you're sickly afflicted, lay your hands on your forehead or your condition. We're going to pray the prayer of faith. Father, we ask you to heal that condition in Jesus' name. Your word says, with your stripes we're healed and we believe your word. Thank you for our healing. In Jesus' name. That, that's it. You let us know, Disciples of Christ, Full Gospel Church, what Christ has done in your life. Our address is 5111 South Ashland Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60609. Our telephone number is area code 773-927-0392. Praise God. Uh, if you want to talk to me, it's area code 773-224-5131. But our time is gone until the next time. This is William Price saying, God bless you real good. You go with God. When I was coming up as a little boy, this is Rice Chapel Missionary Baptist in Church. In Tennessee, Missionary Baptist Church. My first church. We Praise used to God. have devotional service. And one of the deacons would start the devotional service. And he would say something like this. When I rose this morning, I said thank you Lord So when I rose this morning I said thank you Lord Praise God God he would say <clears throat> If the Lord don't help me Chicago Tennessee I, I couldn't stand the storm. Say if the Lord don't help me, ow! Oh, I couldn't stand the storm. One more thing, if I couldn't say a word. 
God wave my hand. Fire, couldn't say a word. Oh, I just wave my hand. The one that introduced me to Christ Jesus. Praise God. I'm about to introduce Elder Charles Wallace, who witnessed to me about God loves me. God loves you. This is in our congregation before Elder Charles Wallace went on to be with the Lord. Later on, you'll see. Praise God, because I'm not sure my brother's schedule is. Praise God. Amen. This time, let's say amen for Elder Charles Wallace. Amen. Can we say thank you, Lord? Thank you, Lord. Let's raise our hands and say thank you, Jesus. 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 Bless his name. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. We give honor to God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we thank God for Pastor Price, dear friend and son of mine in the gospel. And I just praise God for being here and his companion, perhaps, and Mother Price, the Price family. Amen. To the church mothers, deacons, and the ministry brothers, and all these wonderful children. Amen. God bless each one of you on today. I count it a blessing and a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Always saying, there's no goodness of my own, but it's by the mercies of God. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for this life in which he has given me to live, chosen me to live this life. Amen. In this adulterous and this sinful generation, men and women saying that you can't live holy, Amen. But God has chosen me, you, to live holy without spot or blame or any such thing. And I'm just so glad, amen, to live for Jesus. Amen. To show forth his power in this adulterous and this sinful generation. Amen. I thank God for being here. God has just took me through so many miracles. Amen. I was dying a few years ago. Or an artist made my funeral arrangements. My liver deteriorated on me. Amen. I went down to 30 pounds. First I turned yellow and then I turned black. My complexion was very odd. Amen. I called an artist and made all my arrangements. Amen. I said, just in case. Amen. Just in case God don't do it. Amen. I'm ready to go home. I was kicking and fucking. Amen. But I was looking for a miracle. Yeah. I know we serve a miracle working. In 91, I suffered from 83 to 91. And God told me in 91, I said, I'll make you new for 92. Yeah. 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 You can't go back. Do you? Like Jesus. of Disciples of Christ Full Gospel Church and our address is 5111 South Ashland Avenue, Chicago, Illinois 60609